and put aside any potential liability for them. Why are they doing this? Why is the American Civil Liberties Union getting involved in this Hollywood uh, couples fight? And, and I think people need to really ask what has gone wrong at the ACLU that this is what they're spending their time. In August 2016, about three months after Amber Heard was granted a protective order against then-husband Johnny Depp, the actress announced she would donate $3.5 million of her divorce settlement to the American Civil Liberties Union, ACLU. We are incredibly grateful that Ms. Heard has so very generously shown her support for the important and necessary advocacy of victims of domestic violence, the ACLU said at the time. She can be confident that this gift will help other women live safely and freely. But according to a deposition played in Depp's defamation trial against his ex-wife, it appears that, to this day, only $1.3 million has been donated to the civil rights nonprofit. What's more, the human rights organization has kept mum about the whole thing and still blames Deb for all of Amber's troubles. There is only one explanation for this though. Amber has someone very close to her inside the organization. So is the director Anthony Ramiro warming the actress's bed? Let's find out. After a six-week trial, a Virginia jury found Amber Heard liable for defaming her ex-husband, Johnny Depp, with an op-ed where she described herself as a victim of domestic violence. Testimony and email records produced at the trial demonstrated that the first draft of the Washington Post op-ed was ghostwritten by the staffers at the American Civil Liberties Union. The body's executive director, Anthony Ramiro, is believed to be the man Amber is using to redeem favors from within the organization. Just recently, the Aquaman star was spotted in the Hamptons wearing a white baggy shirt and fans were quick to point out that it belonged to Ramiro, who also lives in the same area. It would be hard to doubt the fans' assertions, at least going by what ACLU has done for Amber. We all know that the ACLU, once a powerhouse defender of everyone's civil rights, has gone woke, deciding they should prioritize their activities, defending most ardently those people with a preferred ideology. Their lawyers have defended the power to censor books the organization has secretly changed its priorities from defending free speech to defending progressive social justice, and in the case of Depp versus Amber, have apparently decided that Depp was guilty before the trial, hardly a principle of civil liberties. The organization is now almost beyond redemption. We all know the results of the case. It was a civil mutual defamation case with both Amber and Depp suing the other person for defamation. Depp claimed 50 million in damages. Amber claimed 100 million. The defamation on Amber's part was based on an editorial in the Washington Post with her byline, but which was, by the actress's own testimony in court, actually written by the ACLU. And it is now clear Ramiro has been the one calling the shots all along. Here are two of the statements from the op-ed that according to Depp's attorneys implicitly defamed him, likely as a form of revenge after their divorce. One, two years ago, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse, and I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out. And two, I had the rare vantage point of seeing in real time how institutions protect men accused of abuse. Amber, on her part, claimed that she was the victim of both physical and sexual abuse during the relationship, often brought on by Depp's drug use, and that the Pirates icon tried to humiliate and ruin her by filing the lawsuit. She also claimed in her op-ed that she lost roles and endorsements because of her speaking out, which people believe was one of the counts of defamation proposed by Depp's lawyers. During the hearing, Depp's lawyers brought up Amber's promise to donate her $7 million divorce settlement from Depp to both the ACLU and Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. This was never done. The ACLU apparently got $350,000, with most of that coming not from Amber, but Elon Musk, and even some from Depp himself. Since the actress had testified in a different UK trial that she had made the full donation, Depp's lawyers used this to question her credibility, as well as to accuse her of lying under oath. But the ACLU never bothered reporting the actress for failing to deliver on her promise. Furthermore, ACLU not only wrote the Post's op-ed, but according to Rolling Stone, pitched it to the paper with this statement. Wondering if we might interest you in a piece by Amber Heard on what the incoming Congress can do to help protect women in similar situations. That violates the ACLU's defense of due process, as it accuses Depp of a crime for which he had not been convicted. At this point, the ACLU was already firmly on Amber's side, or should we say Romero was on her side? And while the organization was writing Amber's piece for her, which in itself is unethical, they made her an ACLU artist ambassador, specializing in opposing domestic violence. 
The ACLU denies this was a tit-for-tat arrangement in return for the actress's promised donation. Fast forward to post-trial, and the ACLU's behavior remains reprehensible, marking its approach ever closer to the drain. It seems very much like the organization had an understanding with Amber, giving her a possible amicus brief, an op-ed written by them, and appointing her an ambassador in return for a donation of millions of dollars. The ACLU, through its director Romero, also violated its own principles by taking sides in the case before it was heard, implying before the trial in The Pitch and the op-ed that Depp was guilty of abusing Amber. Depp fans believe these are signs that both Amber and Romero share more than just meet the eye. Will the ACLU ever get back on the rails again? And should Romero be investigated for his phony ways of running the organization? Let us know in the comments below. In our upcoming videos, we'll be bringing you more of such amazing content, so be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't get to miss any of them.